First of all, let's talk about clinical challenges. In a critical ill patient, usually some key questions are coming up. Most important is, of course, what about the oxygen supply? Is it sufficient? Does the tissue get enough oxygen, which is the most important target in the treatment of the patient? Another question is, what are the best treatment options in a certain situation? <clears throat> is it necessary to apply fluid to the patient or specific drugs like catecholamines or reactive drugs? And in certain patient groups, we can also expect, expect problems with the lungs. Maybe there is uh, already a risk of development of pulmonary edema or pulmonary edema is present in the patient. When we talk about fluid administration of the patient, we have to keep in mind that fluid is also a drug and can cause adverse reactions. So the volumetric treatment of the patient is like balancing on the thin line of the optimal situation where we have adequate blood flow, adequate cardiac output, and thus resulting in an adequate oxygen supply. When we have the situation of hypovolemia, too less circulating blood volume, this can cause some complications and in the end lead to tissue hypoxia. And the same also for the fluid overload, for the situation of hypervolemia, this can also lead in the end to tissue hypoxia, which should be strictly avoided. So when we talk about fluid administration, we will also need to have a look at the so-called Frank Starling mechanism. This idea was created by the German physiologist Otto Frank and the British physiologist Ernest Henry Starling. When we look at this graph, we can see the relation between the blood flow, the stroke volume or cardiac output, and the cardiac preload, so the blood volume. And it is quite logic. When we increase the preload, this will also increase the blood flow. But of course, this is not true, unlimited, because the heart has limited expansion uh, abilities, and we will have a certain point where fluid administration will not benef give benefit anymore to the patient. So when we have the left part of the curve, the situation of the left side of the curve, when we add fluid to the patient, we can expect a significant increase also in the blood flow and we know the patient is volume responsive. The target is of course to manage the patient into this situation when we give the same amount of fluid, there is not any more uh, significant increase in the stroke volume. And when we continue to give fluid to the patients, we may have this situation that fluid administration has an adverse the re reaction means a decrease in the stroke volume and we clearly know the patient is in volume overload situations. The main parameter when we talk about advanced hemodynamic monitoring is cardiac output, the blood flow in the patient. And of course it is very important to measure cardiac output to have an idea about the patient situation. And preferably we should measure this parameter continuously. But what happens when we have the situation that cardiac output drops? We know we have a problem in the patient and we should improve the situation. But just measuring cardiac output does not provide the full information. We know first of all that cardiac output is the product of the stroke volume multiplied with the heart rate. And the stroke volume itself has certain determinants. One is the so-called preload, which is the accessible blood volume, which can be transported. The second part is the afterload, which represents the vascular resistance against the heart has to work. And the third part is the contractility. In the end, the cardiac performance, the ability of the heart muscle to contract. And only when we have sufficient information from all these parts, we can clearly decide what is the reason of a drop in cardiac output and what to do to improve the, situ uh, the situation of the patient. So it means in the end cardiac output is the tip of the iceberg and to get the full information we need more details on the situation of the patient to be able to treat the patient in an optimized way.